Prepare for war. Initializing for warp war. protocols. Charity. Adjusting power. Warp course laid in. Lining up for warp. All right, Lance. Go ahead. It's all yours. Course warp royals ready. Charged. On your mark. Warp speed. Aye, aye. Greetings, star citizens. This is Lance Starbolt, and we're playing Star Trek Bridge Crew. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Lance. Hope everyone is having a great day. I'm having a pretty good day. It's uh, it's been a pretty exciting day so far, and I am looking forward to doing another Bridge Crew with you. Last week's Bridge Crew uh, was very well received. Uh, I was actually a bit surprised. Um, so I'm glad everyone liked it, and uh, we will we will go ahead and do some more. I don't know uh, how long we'll keep doing it. I don't know how long people will still be interested in it, but you know, you know, let's hit the iron uh, while it's hot or something like that. <laughs> so last time we did the shakedown. Now I'm sort of torn. Uh, you know what? The heck with it. Let's go to ongoing missions. We'll do original enterprise. And let's see, let's do a defend mission, I th think, wait, no, recovery, rescue, research, all missions, I guess the defend mission is the best, I, we don't have the ability with the Enterprise, god, isn't that gorgeous, look at that, we don't have the ability with the Enterprise to, um, to, uh, disrupt enemy systems and stuff, at least not that I've found. Um, so, um, yeah, I caught a screen cap of that. Shh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> I forgot we're on a different display capture, so. I can't, for some reason, the normal game capture I use doesn't work with this game. Uh, probably because it was designed for VR, so I'm having to use just a display capture. Uh, anyways, technical background, you didn't want to know about that. Uh, we can't do, uh, system intrusions with the Enterprise, so we're sort of out of luck there. All right, let's go. Now, I found that this is really, really, really hard. <laughs> the controls on this are nowhere near as easy to use. They're too small, so they're hard to hit, uh, with your mouse pointer. And, uh, from what I've seen from other people's videos, they're even harder to hit with, um with VR. Come on. Hurry up and load. <laughs> I'm saying I'm seen to the Captain's log supplemental. Long. We are diverting from our patrol to answer a priority message from one of our own. We're being hailed. Oh, I've got to F1 this. There we go. Accept hail. On screen. Enterprise, this is the USS Suribachi. We're detecting a large number of hostiles operating in the region. We need your help taking them down. All right. Captain, I'm updating your panel. I will update our operational charts. All right, let's grab our clipboard here. I think this is our local scan, yeah. So we can go that, we can go to this. It really is a lot. Rendezvous with the Suribachi. Warp to the Ryburn system. Okay. So warp map right here. Where is the Ryburn system? Your output accuracy has been upgraded. Can you confirm? I'll put eyes Where on is it? There it is. Down the bottom right. Oh, that's right. You gotta cycle through selections here. So the controls are a lot different. Okay. Prepare for warp. Aye, aye, Captain. Preparing for warp. Allocating power. Warp course plotted. Lining up for warp vector.
I love this view. I mean, for me anyways, this ship is a lot more beautiful than, uh, than the Aegis. We're under attack and need immediate reinforcement. Aye, Captain. New target locked. Shields raised. Arming for showing on their sensors. Alright. Engineer. Get power to engines for now. Okay, so we, it looks like we have a little local map here. I'm just going to leave these helps up. I apologize for that. But I don't know it well enough. And the voice command, as far as I can tell, still isn't working. Yeah, command unavailable. Okay. Weapons to phasers. See, and these those are so hard to hit. Okay. One hostile destroyed. Good work, Enterprise. Thanks for the help. Maybe that'll teach him not to shoot at us anymore. I understood. Staying with them. Okay. We're being hailed. Captain, my vessel has been intercepted by a secondary force. We will hold out as long as we are able, but the sooner you can provide support, the better. Okay. You hold on. We're bringing extra Captain, guns. I'm updating your readout. Yeah, thank you. Could you possibly move your hand so I can see? Assist the Riley. Where's the Riley now? Wait. Is the Riley here? I don't see the Riley. Okay, I have a feeling we have to go somewhere. Okay, let's check the warp map. No. Uh, no, not the interior. Impulse map. That's what I want. Here? I'm guessing so. Confirm. Air impulse. No impulse destination? Oh, we haven't. Oh, I have to. That's why that's. There we go. Fish. All right. Torpedo oh, disabled. Power for impulse. Laying course for impulse. Go. Engage. Aye, aye. There we go. Lance Starbolt would never have this sort of problem. Hey, you're the one sitting here in the chair. I'm just pushing buttons for you. That's all. We are in impulse. Hello, Eek! Good morning! <laughs> Eek says good morning. Alright, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Why is it taking so long? We're a starship, dang it! This is Captain Salvak. We are en route to your coordinates. Okay, well, shields are still up. I thought we had them. You got it. Arming torpedoes. Okay. Looks like we got hostiles here. D5 cruiser. Send a technician to the cargo I'm just okay. talking. New target. Fire it! Let's balance power out. I can't. Equalizing power. What's that power look over there? I can't really tell. Speed 4000. Is there anything we can click over here on the info feed? No, I guess not. 
Hostile destroyed. Okay, there's another one. Ugh. I wish... Lance, would you just get your hands out of the way? I can't see when you do that. B5 cruiser. Engage. Five. Updating target. Firing. I think I started to say earlier... I, oh, I did say. I just find the ship so much more... Ma more majestic than uh, than the other one, especially the engines, the way they're placed and everything. Doesn't that the just Raleigh, look so cool? Hold. It makes it so the much USS bigger. Was just no, we didn't save her. Well, we shall avenge her then. Hostile vessel destroyed. Are all our hostiles destroyed? <laughs> Come on. Let him. Let, got somebody else here now? Uh oh. Stage. Changing target. Engaging. Let's get some more weapon to. Uh, more power to the phasers. Prioritizing power to phasers. So what is this ship? It's a Warbird Beta 1. Okay, never heard of it. Put that down. There we go. Stay with him. Enemy vessel destroyed. Oh, well, I guess All right, Enterprise. To... Now that we're clear, I'm sending you the location of the remaining forces. Let's finish them off. Captain, I'm updating your readout. That was pretty close. I have updated the he could have, you know, coordinates. given us a little bit of, uh, you know, safe passage here. Plotting course. All right. The Hemstross field. Right. Prepare for impulse. for impulse. Making ready for impulse. We're ready to go. Engage. I can't. I imagine if you're doing this in VR, you must want to be able to just get up out of the chair and walk around in here. <laughs> At least you're, if you're an old-time Star Trek fan like me. I think you can turn those off for now. Come on. Federation vessel, this area is under protection of the Klingon Empire. You will leave now. Uh, don't bet on that, buddy. Captain, I have noticed a pattern of unusual sensor echoes. They are indicative of the recent use of a clocking device. Clocking on target. Enemy breaking contact. I guess we can't specify a shark. Reinforce the shields. No, not. No, not engines. Shields. Do as I say. Not as I. All right, this isn't looking good, folks. Where's our help? It's around here somewhere, I think. All right, let's get this other one. 
and gay. No, come on, yeah, move it. Okay, since our shields are out, let's I'm get that weapon, that power to the phaser. So let's take them out fast. Yeah, I love how the panels all spark and explode. The ship gets damaged. Actually, we're not looking too bad. I don't see any exterior hull damage. Ah, oh, there's our help over there. Let's get repairs going on. Affirmative. Repairs underway. Now we're showing a little damage. Oh, oh, still one more here. We have shields? Alright, balance power back up. Again? Stand down for red alert. Thanks for the hand, Enterprise. Don't think we could have managed that without you. We're going to return to base. Suribachi, out. Acknowledged. Not bad, not bad. We handled that pretty well. Thank goodness we didn't have to do any beaming or anything. <laughs> oh dear. I just made Lieutenant Commander. Hull integrity was down to 56%. We fired almost our entire complement of photon torpedoes and took us 13 minutes. But we did succeed. We lost one ship out of that. Yeah, we did not protect the Riley, but we succeeded in every other way. All right, let's go back to the campaign missions and let's get the second of these campaign missions done. Let's get underway, crew. Hey, that's my line. All right, Lance, well, you say the lines then. Sheesh, I'm just doing my best, and you complain and complain. I'm starting to feel that you don't appreciate me. Captain's Log, Stardate 2258.193. We believe we've identified a candidate world for Vulcan resettlement. The Governing Council for Settlements in the Trench has granted us permission to perform a survey of Silva 4 and its home system, on condition that we share all our findings with the Council. We'll be accompanied by our science vessel USS Huxley. This is our first journey into the uninhabited regions of the Trench. Incoming message from Starfleet. Putting it on screen. Captain, I understand you're about to get underway. Before you go, I wanted to remind you that you are representing the entire United Federation of Planets out there. I'm counting on each of you to demonstrate our ideals to the highest possible degree. But don't worry, you have Starfleet Command's every confidence. Good luck to you and your crew. Starfleet, out. <laughs> Thanks, after the scolding there, you tell us, oh, but we have Captain. confidence in you. It's the Huxley. All right, let's hear him. Aegis, this is Captain Uku of USS Huxley. Our system checks are complete. We're ready to go. We'll stand by and follow you out when you're ready. Acknowledged. All right, Ensign Rao. Let's move. I'm taking control of him because the last time I did this, he crashes. <laughs> oh, we're heading. Oh, that looks really cool. Look at that. It's like a tunnel with a star at the end of it. All right. Our objective, warp to Silva and, uh, well, warp to Silva. Okay. No, nope. let's get the right warp. Yep. Yeah, sometimes Ensign Rao just really sucks at lining up for warp. Prepare for warp. Initializing warp protocols. Adjusting power. Warp course laid in. Lining up for warp. 
All right, Lance, go ahead. It's all yours. Warp speed. Ready. On your mark. Warp speed. Aye, aye. Lance Starwald on the bridge. Several localized energy pulses nearby. I do not recognize their signature. Scan that. I recommend we perform an active scan on one. Understood. Locking on target. Initiating scan. Full I'm scan sending copy. new data to your panel, Captain. This anomaly is highly volatile. Vol uh, oh, what? It, volatile. I can't talk today. Approach with extreme caution. Whoa, that didn't look too good. Aegis, keep your distance from those distortions. One just detonated when we got close to it. Damage is minor, but we don't want to do that again. Yeah, I wouldn't do that again. Don't, don't do that again. Captain, I'm reading a number of spatial disturbances. Waveforms are similar to a class one plasma storm, but it seems to be affecting the entire system. It may impact navigation. We should proceed with caution. Thank you, science. I didn't mean for you to turn completely around, Edson Rao. <laughs> I just wanted you to avoid the, uh, the, uh, Kabumi thing. Exiting the anomaly. Entering anomaly. Okay. Let's head to planetary orbit. Initializing spectrographic analysis. Calculating travel. Understood, Huxley. Stand by. Captain, USS Huxley is getting unusual readings from their planetary oh, scans. They're requesting we verify with a scan of our own. All right, we're in route. Bring her around, Mr. Rao. Course plotted. Engage. Aye. Let's analyze that, folks. You got launching target select. Launching probe. Transferring data to your panel, Captain. Intriguing. Silver 4 may have been inhabitable sometime in the past, but if so, something has changed it dramatically. Incoming message from Captain Ukwu. I've asked my science team to perform deep planetary scans on Silver 4. It'll take us a little while. If you can complete the survey of the remaining areas, we should be finished by the time you return. All right, let's do it. Asteroid field region, dead planet. Dead planet. Asteroid field. course. Aye, aye. Allocating engine power for impulse. Making ready for impulse. On your mark, Captain. Engage. Aye, Captain. from the asteroid cluster, Captain. We're picking up trace signals from deeper within the field. It's too faint for me to decipher. Can I scan that? Maybe a distress beacon of some sort. Scanning target. 
All right, let's get over here and help Ensign Rao out. Scan is showing that anomaly as dangerous. My readings suggest the effects of the anomaly will be mild. It could cause direct damage to the ship. Transferring analysis to your panel, Captain. Can we scan that target now? Or are we already the scanned? The storm is getting stronger, Captain. And oh, I guess we don't readings, need to scan I both. believe it will continue to worsen. Alright, I want to head this way. Come on. Alright, let's head for that target. See if you can avoid these. Ugh. There's one right there. We're not avoiding it. Well, thank goodness we didn't take any damage from it. Bipolar flow junction damaged. Oh, I guess we did take damage from it. Warning. Entering the anomaly. hazard detected. <laughs> Wow, we did take quite, even though it didn't look like it. We took a fair amount of damage. Look at that. Scanning. There's the signal source. Wait for finish the scan on this. Captain. Be aware that the anomaly's effect on the ship will be substantial. I will update your panel, Captain. This is sensor range. All right, let's get a scan on that. Aye, aye. Take Take the the Moving out of the anomaly. Could you please avoid the exploding rocks, Helm? I should have put up shields before we went in here. Let's get shields up now. Hi, Captain. Shields up. Scan initiated. Getting too close to that one there. But I think we're going to have to. Scan complete, Captain. That's the source of the signal. It does appear to have been a distress signal at some point. The signal's far too weak for it to be of any use now. Perhaps it has been overwhelmed by the environmental conditions. No, I'm not surprised. We're being overwhelmed by the environmental conditions. All right. Understood. Let's get some repair repairs going are on. Route. Routine theta radiation right. scans all come up clean. Let's head to the cracked moon. Calculating travel vector. Prepare for impulse. Hi. Diverting power for impulse. Plotting impulse course. Course plotted. On your mark. Engage. Aye, aye, Captain. I love how we can just go straight through asteroids. <laughs> frequency oscillation around the moon. It is causing reduced fidelity in our sensors. We should be able to complete a scan, but quality may be compromised. All right. All right, what's that in line? Oop. Let's travel there. Aye, aye. Warp core is fully operational. Warp core, all Thank repairs you. completed. Thank you. Yeah, I'm slowly learning all the little 
tricks here. It'd be a lot easier with a human crew. But, uh... Arriving at our destination. There are definitely different tricks you can do. Aye, aye. New target. Deploying probe. Probe away. The probe's in position and transmitting data. Intriguing. There are patterns on the moon consistent with subsurface structures, Captain. I see no signs of life, but that may be due to the atmospheric interference. Our belief that this area is uninhabited may have been misinformed. All right. Let's go check out the nebula. Flooding course. Prepare for impulse. Aye, understood. Powering engines for impulse. Laying course for impulse. Can you confirm the covariant oscillator calibration is complete? Course plotted. Sure, I'm on it. Impulse. Aye, Captain. This nebula has an unusually high concentration of ionically charged particles. Remaining within the particle field will negatively impact shield function. Understood. We should launch a probe and get out of here as soon as possible. Sounds like a good plan. Let's do that. Aye, aye, Captain. Changing target. Scanning. Not what I wanted. I think it's out of range. Let's approach it. Hi. I am updating your panel, Captain. Yes, Water. Captain. You touch it off. Probe is away. And transmitting. The probe has detected a ship, Captain. They may need help. All right. There's no activity on standard subspace frequencies, but we may want to check it out just in case. All right. Let's analyze that ship. Hi. Targeting. You'd think our range of scanners would be a little bit more than 30 kilometers. <laughs> I mean, how do we avoid running into things at warp speed, you know? Transferring data to your panel, Captain. The vessel's computer is intact. It's encrypted, but we should be able to access it through our remote intrusion system. Can you check those environmental control reports? All right. Probably nothing, but I'll take a look. Let's take a look at that. Moving out of the anomaly. Yet. I would think we'd be close enough. There we go. Aye, aye, Captain. Attempting system disruption. Exiting Stand the anomaly. By. Locking on target. I'll stop. I bring her to full stop. We're disrupting the target system. The ship's been picked clean. Multiple hull breaches. It must have happened fairly recently. The last log entry was just a few days ago. Hmm. There's no one for us to save here. We may want to scuttle the ship to make sure no one else gets drawn in here. All right. Let's come on over here. We'll go ahead and take a hold of this and handle it ourselves. Morning. Is there anything in particular we can target here? Hmm. I guess not. There we go. Hostile vessel closing in. Alert. Torpedoes. New contact. One hostile. Oh, I can't talk. Updating target. 
scanning. Warning. Let's take a look at who we're fighting here. Scanning complete. Captain, incoming Sorry, message from the Huxley on emergency channels. Engage the Aegis. We are under attack by two unidentified vessels. We need immediate support. We're on our way. Let's dispatch this guy quickly. Power to phasers. Maximizing power to phasers. Roger that. Take out his engines. Prepare for impulse. Calculating travel vector. Aye, aye, Torpedoes on set. Diverting power for impulse. Plotting impulse course. Entering the anomaly. Aye, aye. We're ready to go. Round. Engage. Aye, aye. The USS Huxley is reporting 75% hull integrity. Understood. What's the intent? Come on, give me the local scanners. Engage. Scan that target. I finished the scan. Yes, Captain. Target. New target. Hostile vessel destroyed. Engage. Hostile ship has fleet. Firing. That's what I wanted. Hate it when it does that. We did it. The Huxley is secure. That went well. I appreciate the help, Aegis. I'm afraid we need a little more. We sustained damage on several decks, and our navigational systems are down. We need to get back to Edinov as soon as possible, but we can't plot a course. If you can lead the way, my chief engineer believes she has a method for us to follow your warp signature. All right. Let's head home, folks. Scare from red alert. Laying a course for Edenov. Prepare for warp. Diverting power. Warp course is set. Aligning warp vector. Ready course laid warp. in, Captain. Charged. Warp speed. Aye, aye. Huxley has arrived safely, Captain. Thanks for getting us back home, Aegis. I think we can take it from here. Well, that's it, folks. A long episode today, but uh, I, maybe I shouldn't have done two, two missions. <laughs> But hey, it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button for me. Comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in our next episode. Have a great video. Or have a great video. Have a great day. <laughs>